The first book of Chronicles. Adam, Sheth, Enosh, Kenan, Mahalalel, Jared, Hinoch, Methuselah, Lamech, Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The sons of Japheth, Goma, and Magog, and Madai, and Javan, and Tubal, and Meshech, and Tiras, and the sons of Goma, Ashenaz, and Rephat, and Togama, and the sons of Javan, Elisha, and Tashish, Ketim, and Dodanim, the sons of Ham, Cush, and Mizram, Put, and Canaan, and the sons of Cush, Siba, and Havila, and Sapta, and Rama, and Sapticha, and the sons of Rama, Sheba, and Didan. And Cush begat Nimrod, he began to be mighty upon the earth, and Mizraim begat Ludim, and Anamim, and Lehabim, and Nephtulim, and Naphtuhim, and Pashrusim, and Kasluhim, of whom came the Philistines, and Kaphtorim, and Canaan begat Zidon, his firstborn, and Heth, the Jebusites also, and the Amorite, and the Gegashite, and the Hivite, and the Archite, and the Sinite, and the Avadite, and the Zemarite, and the Hamathite, the sons of Shem, Elam, and Ashur, and Aphaxad, and Lud, and Aram, and Oz, and Hol, and Githa, and Meshech. And Aphaxan begat Shila, and Shila begat Iba, and unto Iba were born two sons. The name of the one was Peleg, because in his days the earth was divided, and his brother's name was Joktan. And Joktan begat Armodad, and Shelef, and Hazamavet, and Jera, and Hodoram, and Jera, Hodoram also, and Uzal, and Dikla, and Ebal, and Abimel and Sheba, and Ophir, and Havilah, and Jobab. All these were the sons of Joktan, Shem, Aphaxad, Shila, Iba, Peleg, Reu, Serog, Neho, Tira, Abram, the same is Abraham. The sons of Abraham, Isaac, and Ishmael, these are their generations, the firstborn of Ishmael, Nebaioth, then Kida, and Adbil, and Mibsam, and Mishma, and Duma, Masa, Hedad, and Tima, Jeto, Nafish, and Kidema. These are the sons of Ishmael. Now the sons of Keturah, Abraham's concubine, she bears Zimra, and Jokshan, and Midan, and Midian, and Ishbak, and Shua, and the sons of Jokshan, Sheba, and Dedan, and the sons of Midian, Epha, and Epha, and Henoch, and Abida, and Elder, all these are the sons of Keturah, and Abraham begat Isaac. The sons of Isaac, Esau, and Israel. The sons of Esau, Eliphaz, Reuel, Jerush, Jalam, and Korah. The sons of Eliphaz, Timan, and Oman, Ziphi, and Gatham, Kenaz, and Timnah, and Amalek. The sons of Reuel, Nehath, Zira, Shama, and Miza, and the sons of Seir, Lotan, and Shobal, and Zibion, and Anna, and Dishon, and Iza, and Dishan. And the sons of Lotan, Hori, and Homan, and Timna was Lotan's sister. The sons of Shobal, Elian, and Manahat, and Ebal, and Shephi, and Onam. And the sons of Zibion, Eya, and Anna. The sons of Anna, Dishon, and the sons of Dishon, Amram, and Eshban, and Itran, and Cheran, and the sons of Iza, Bilha, and Zavan, and Jakan, the sons of Dishan, Oz, and Aran. Now, these are the kings that reigned in the land of Edom before any king reigned over the children of Israel. Bela the son of Beor, and the name of his city was Din Haber. And when Bela was dead, Jobab the son of Zerah, and of Bozrah reigned in his stead. And when Jobab was dead, Husham of the land of the Tamanites reigned in his stead. And when Husham was dead, 
Hadad, the son of Bidad, which smote Midian in the field of Moab, reigned in his stead, and the name of his city was Avith. And when Hadad was dead, Sambla of Mesraka reigned in his stead. And when Sambla was dead, Shur of Rehoboth by the river reigned in his stead. And when Shur was dead, Balhanan the son of Achbor reigned in his stead. And when Balhanan was dead, Hadad reigned in his stead, and the name of his city was Pai, and his wife's name was Mehetabel, the daughter of Matred, the daughter of Mezahab. Hadad died also, and the dukes of Edom were Duke Timna, Duke Aliah, Duke Jethet, Duke Aholibama, Duke Ela, Duke Pinon, Duke Kenaz, Duke Teman, Duke Mizba, Magdiel, Duke Iram. These are the dukes of Edom. These are the sons of Israel, Reuben and Simon, Levi and Judah, Issachar and Zebulon, Dan, Joseph and Benjamin, Naphtali, Gad and Asher. The sons of Judah, Er and Onan, Shelah, which three were born unto him of the daughter of Shoah the Canaanite. And Er, the firstborn of Judah, was evil in the sight of the Lord, and he slew him. And Tamar his daughter-in-law bore him Pharez and Zerah. All the sons of Judah were five. The sons of Pharez, Hezron and Hamul, and the sons of Zerah, Zimri and Ethan, and Herman and Calco and Dara, five of them in all. And the sons of Kami, Archa, the troubler of Israel, who transgressed in the thing accursed. And the sons of Ethan, Azariah, the sons also of Hezron that were born unto him, Jaramil and Ram and Chelubai. And Ram begat Aminadab, and Aminadab begat Nashon, prince of the children of Judah. And Nashon begat Salma, and Salma begat Boaz. And Boaz begat Obed, and Obed begat Jesse, and Jesse begat his firstborn Eliab, and Abinadab the second, and Shema the third, and Nathanael the fourth. Radai the fifth, Ozem the sixth, David the seventh, whose sisters were Zuriah and Abigail, the sons of Zuriah, Abishai, and Joab, and Asahel three. And Abigail bare Amasa, the father of Amasa was Jetha the Ishmaelite, and Caleb the son of Hezron begat children of Azuba his wife, and of Jeriot. Her sons are these, Jesha, and Shubab, and Adon. And when Azubah was dead, Caleb took unto him Ephrath, which bare him her, and her begat Uri, and Uri begat Bazalel. And afterward, Hezron went into the daughter of Masher, the father of Gilead, whom he married when he was three score years old, and she bare him Segob. And Segob begat Jer, who had three and twenty cities in the land of Gilead. And he took Geshur and Aram with the towns of Jer. From them with Kenat and the towns thereof, even three score cities. All these belonged to the sons of Macher, the father of Gilead. And after that Hezron was dead, in Caleb Fratha, then Abia Hezron's wife bare him Ashur, the father of the Kor. And the sons of Jaramiel, the firstborn of Hezron, were Ram the firstborn, and Buna, and Oren, and Ozem, and Ahijah. Jaramil had also another wife whose name was Atara. She was the mother of Unam. And the sons of Ram, the firstborn of Jaramil, were Maz and Jame and Ika. And the sons of Unam were Shammai and Jada. And the sons of Shammai, Nadab and Abisha. And the name of the wife of Abisha was Abigail. And she bare him Aban and Molid. And the sons of Nadab, Seled and Apim. But Seled died without children, and the sons of Apim, Ishi, and the sons of Ishi, Shishan, and the children of Shishan, Alai, and the sons of Jedah, the brother of Shammai, Jetha, and Jonathan, and Jetha died without children. And the sons of Jonathan, Peleth, and Zaza, these were the sons of Jeremiah. Now Shishan had no sons, but daughters, and Shishan had a servant, an Egyptian, whose name was Jara, And Shishan gave his daughter to Jara his servant to wife, 
and she bare him a tie. And a tie begat Nathan, and Nathan begat Zabad, and Zabad begat Ifla, and Ifla begat Obed, and Obed begat Jehu, and Jehu begat Azariah, and Azariah begat Heles, and Heles begat Elisa, and Elisa begat Sisamai, and Sisamai begat Shalom, and Shalom begat Jakamiah, and Jakamiah begat Elishama. Now the sons of Caleb, the brother of Jeremiah, were Mesha, his firstborn, which was the father of Ziph, and the sons of Marisha, the father of Hebron, and the sons of Hebron, Korah, and Tapua, and Rechem, and Shema. And Shema began Raham, the father of Jokoam, and Rechem began Shammai, and the son of Shammai was Maon, and Maon was the father of Bethel, and Ifa, Caleb's concubine. Be Haran and Moza and Gaziz, and Haran begat Gaziz, and the sons of Jadai, Regem, and Jotam, and Gisham, and Pelet, and Ifa, and Shaph. Maka, Caleb's concubine, Be Sheba, and Tirana, and she be also Shaph, the father of Madmana, Shiva, the father of Machbena, and the father of Gibeah, and the daughter of Caleb was Aksa. These were the sons of Caleb, the son of Hor, the firstborn of Ephrathah, Shobah, the father of Kijah Jarib, and Sama, the father of Bethlehem, Hereph, the father of Bethgather, and Shobah, the father of Kijah Jarib, had sons, Haroe, and half of the Manahitites. And the families of Kijah Jarib, the Etrite, and the Pushite, and the Shumatite, and the Misrite, of them came Zariatites and Istualites the sons of Sama, Bethlehem, and the Netophatite, Atoroth, the house of Joab, and half of the Manahitite, the Zorite. And the families of the scribes which dwelt at Jabez, the Tiratite, the Shimeatite, and the Sukkatite. These are the Kenites that came of Hermat, the father of the house of Rechab. Now these were the sons of David, which were born unto him in Hebron. The firstborn Amnon of Hinoam, the Jezreelite, the second Daniel of Abigail the Carmelite, the third Absalom, the son of Maka, the daughter of Talmai, king of Geshur, the fourth Adonijah, the son of Haggit, the fifth Shephatiah of Abital, the sixth Ithriam by Igla his wife. These six were born unto him in Hebron, and there he reigned seven years and six months. And in Jerusalem he reigned thirty and three years. And these were born unto him in Jerusalem, Shimea and Shobab, and Nathan and Solomon, four of Bashoah, the daughter of Amiel, Iba also, and Elishama, and Eliphelet, and Loga, and Nepheg, and Japhia, and Elishama, and Eliada, and Eliphelet, nine. These were all the sons of David, beside the sons of the concubines, and Tamar their sister. And Solomon's son was Rehoboam, Abia his son, Asa his son, Jehoshaphat his son, Joram his son, Ahaziah his son, Joash his son, Imaziah his son, Azariah his son, Jotham his son, Ahaz his son, Hezekiah his son, Manasseh his son, Ammon his son. Josiah his son, and the sons of Josiah were the firstborn Johanan, the second Jehoiakim, the third Zedekiah, the fourth Shalom, and the sons of Jehoiakim, Jeconiah his son, Zedekiah his son, and the sons of Jeconiah, Aser, Salathia his son, Machiram also, and Pediah, and Shenazar, Jechamiah, Hoshama, and Nedabiah. And the sons of Pediah were Zerubbabel and Shimei, and the sons of Zerubbabel, Meshulam, and Hananiah, and Shelomite, their sister, and Hashuba, and Ohel, and Berekel, and Hasadiah, and Jushabised, five. And the sons of Hananiah, Palatia, and Jesiah, the sons of Rephiah, the sons of Anan, the sons of Obadiah, the sons of Shekaniah. And the sons of Shechaniah, Shemaiah, and the sons of Shemaiah, Hattush, and Egel, and Bariah, and Neriah, 
and Shaphat, six. And the sons of Neriah, Eleonai, and Hezekiah, and Akrikam. And the sons of Eleonai were Hodiah, and Eliashib, and Peliah, and Akob, and Johanan, and Deliah, and Anani, seven. The sons of Judah, Perez, Hezron, and Kami, and Hor, and Shobal. And Reiah, the son of Shobal, begat Jahad, and Jahad begat Ahomai and Lahad. These are the families of Zorothites, and these were of the father of Etham, Jezreel, and Ishma, and Ebash, and the name of their sister was Hazel Leponi, and Peniel, the father of Gedor, and Ezer, the father of Husha. These are the sons of Hor, the firstborn of Ephrathah, the father of Bethlehem, and Ashur, the father of Dekoah, had two wives, and Hila, and Nara, and Nara bare him Ahuzam, and Hepha, and Temeni, and Hashatari. These are the sons of Nara, and the sons of Hila were Zeret, and Jesua, and Idna, and Kos begat Anub, and Zubiba, and the families of Aharil, the son of Harum. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren, and his mother called his name Jabez, saying, because I bear him with sorrow. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, O oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed, and enlarge my coast, and that thine hand might be with me, and thou that wouldest keep me from evil, that it may not grip me. And God granted him that which he requested. And Chilob the brother of Shua begat Mecher, which was the father of Ishton. And Ishton begat Betrapha, and Paseah, and Tehina the father of Inahash. These are the men of Rachel, the sons of Kenaz, Othniel, and Sariah, and the sons of Othniel, Hathat, and Meonathai begat, begat Ophrah, and Sariah begat Joab, the father of the valley of Charashim, for they were craftsmen, and the sons of Caleb, the son of Jephune, Eru, Elah, and Nam, and the sons of Elah, even Kenaz, and the sons of Jehalelel, Ziph, and Zephah, Tyria, and Asarel. And the sons of Israel were Jetha, and Mered, and Ephah, and Jalon. And she bare Miriam, and Shemaiah, and Ishba, the father of Eshtemoa. And his wife Jehudijah bare Jared, the father of Gedor, and Heba, the father of Sucho, and Jekuthiel, the father of Zanoa. And these are the sons of Bithia, the daughter of Pharaoh, which married took. And the sons of his wife, Hodiah, the sister of Naham, the father of Kela, the Gamite, and Eshtemoah, the Machetite. And the sons of Shimon were Ammon and Rimna, Benhanan and Tilon. The sons of Ishi were Zohet and Benzoheth. And the sons of Shelah, the son of Judah, were Er, the father of Leka and Lada, the father of Meresha, and the families of the house of them that wrought fine linen of the house of Ashbea. And Jokim and the men of Chuzeba, and Joash, and Saraph, who had his dominion in Moab, and Jashubilehem, and these are ancient things. These were the porters, and those that dwelt among plants and hedges. There they dwelt with the king for his work. The sons of Simon were Numiel, and Jamin, and Jarib, and Zerah, and Shal, and Shalom his son, Mibsam his son, Mishma his son, and the sons of Mishma, Hamiel his son, Zakor his son, Shimei his son, and Shimei had sixteen sons and six daughters, but his brethren had not many children, neither did all their family multiply, like to the children of Judah, and they dwelt at Beersheba, and Molada, and Hazashua, and at Behar, and at Zem, and at Tolad, and at Bethuel, and at Homa, and at Ziklag, and at Beth Makabot, and Hazasusim, and at Beth Bire, and at Sharim. And these were their cities unto the reign of David, and their villages were Etam, and Ai, and Rimon, and Chen, and Ashan, five cities, and all their villages that were round about the same cities unto Baal. These were their habitations and their genealogy. And Meshobab 
and Jamlek and Joshua, the son of Amaziah, and Joel and Jehu, the son of Josebiah, the son of Seraiah, the son of Asiel, and Ilune and Jacoba and Jehoshiah and Asiah and Adel and Jesimiel and Beniah, and Ziza the son of Shifi, the son of Alon, the son of Jediah, the son of Shimri, the son of Shemaiah. These mentioned by their names were princes in their families, and the hearts of their fathers increased greatly. And they went to the entrance of Gedor, even unto the east side of the valley, to seek pasture for their flocks. And they found fat pasture and good. The land was white and quiet and peaceable, for they of Ham had dwelt there of old. And these written by name came in the days of Hezekiah king of Judah, and smote their tents and the habitations that were found there, and destroyed them utterly unto this day, and dwelt in their rooms, because there was past to day for their flocks. And some of them, even of the sons of Simon, five hundred men, went to Mount Seir, having for their captain Pelatiah, and Neriah, and Rephiah, and Uziel the sons of Ishi. And they smote the rest of the Amalekites that were escaped, and dwelt there unto this day. Now the sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, for he was the firstborn, but for as much as he defied his father's bed, his birthright was given unto the sons of Joseph, the son of Israel, and the genealogy is now to be reckoned after the birthright. For Judah prevailed above his brethren, and of him came the chief ruler, but the birthright was Joseph's. The sons, I say, of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, were Hanok, and Palo, and Hezron, and Kami, the sons of Joel, Shemaiah his son, Gog his son, Shime his son, Micah his son, Rhea his son, Baal his son, Bera his son, whom Tigat Pilnezar king of Assyria carried away captive. He was prince of the Reubenites, and his brethren by their families, when the genealogy of their generation was reckoned, were the chief Jael and Zechariah, and Bela the son of Azaz the son of Shema, the son of Joel, who dwelt in Aroah, even unto Nabal and Balmeo. And eastward he inhabited unto the entry in of the wilderness from the river Euphrates, because their cattle were multiplied in the land of Gilead. In the days of Shaul, they made war with Hagarites, who fell by their hand, and they dwelt in their tents throughout all the east land of Gilead. And the children of God dwelt over against them, in the land of Bashan unto Sarka, Joel the chief, and Shaphan the next, and Janai and Shaphat in Bashan. And their brethren of the house of their fathers were Michael and Meshulam, and Sheba, and Jorai, and Juchan, and Zia, and Heba, seven. These are the children of Abihel, the son of Huri, the son of Jaroa, the son of Gilead, the son of Michael, the son of Jeshishai, the son of Jado the son of Boaz, Ahi, the son of Abidiel, the son of Guni, chief of the house of their fathers. And they dwelt in Gilead, in Bashan, and in Hattans, and in all the suburbs of Sharon, upon their borders. All this was reckoned by genealogies in the days of Jutan, king of Judah, and in the days of Jeroboam, king of Israel. The sons of Reuben and the Gadites, and half the tribe of Manasseh, of valiant men, men able to bear buckler and sword, and to shoot with bow, and skillful in war, were four and forty thousand seven hundred and three score that went out to the war. And they made war with the Hagarites, with Jetor, and Nephish, and Nodab. And they were helped against them, and the Hagarites were delivered into their hand, and all that were with them, for they cried to God in the battle, and he was entreated of them, because they put their trust in him. And they took away their cattle, of their camel of fifty thousand, and of their sheep two hundred and fifty thousand, and of asses two thousand, and of men a hundred thousand. And for there fell down many slain, because the war was of God, and they dwelt in their steads until the captivity. And the children of the half tribe of Manasseh dwelt in the land. They increased from Bashan unto Bahemon and Sine, and unto Mount Hemon. And these were the heads of the hearts of their fathers, even Ipha and Ishi, and Eliel, and Azrael, and Jeremiah, and Hodaviah, 
and Jadiel, mighty men of Vela, famous men and heads of the house of their fathers. And they transgressed against the God of their fathers, and went a whoring after the gods of the people of the land, whom God destroyed before them. And the God of Israel stirred up the spirit of Peel, king of Assyria, and the spirit of Tigath Pilneser, king of Assyria, and carried them away, even the Reubenite and the Gadite and the half tribe of Manasseh, and brought them unto Hala and Habo and Hara to the river Gozan unto this day. The sons of Levi, Geshon, Kohath, and Merari, and the sons of Kohath, Amram, Isa, and Hebron, and Uzziel, and the children of Amram, Aaron, and Moses, and Miriam. The sons also of Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, Eliza, and Ithama. And Eliza begat Phinehas, and Phinehas begat Abishua, and Abishua begat Buki, and Buki begat Uzi, and Uzi begat Zerahiah, and Zerahiah begat Merayot, and Merayot begat Amariah, and Amariah begat Ahitob, and Ahitob begat Zadok, and Zadok begat Ahimaz, and Ahimaz begat Azariah, and Azariah begat Johanan, and Johanan begat Azariah. He it is that executed the priest's office in the temple that Solomon built in Jerusalem. And Azariah begat Amariah, and Amariah begat Ahitob, and Ahitob begat Zadok, and Zadok begat Shalom, and Shalom begat Hikia, and Hikia begat Azariah, and Azariah begat Seraiah, and Seraiah begat Jehuzadak, and Jehuzadak went into captivity when the Lord carried away Judah and Jerusalem by the hand of Nebuchadnezzar. The sons of Levi, Geshom, Kohath, and Merari. And these be the names of the sons of Geshom, Libne, and Shime. And the sons of Kohath were Amram, and Isa, and Hebron, and Uzziel. The sons of Merari, Mali, and Mushi. These are the families of the Levites according to their fathers. Of Geshom, Libne his son. Jahat his son, Zima his son, Joah his son, Idu his son, Zerah his son, Jeterai his son, the sons of Kohath, Aminadab his son, Korah his son, Aser his son, Elkanah his son, Ebiastaf his son, Aser his son, Tahat his son, Uriel his son, Uzziah his son, and Shaw his son. And the sons of Elkanah, Amasai, and Ahimoth. As for Ekanah, the sons of Ekanah, Zophar his son, and Nahat his son, Eliab his son, Jeroham his son, Elkanah his son, and the sons of Samuel, the firstborn of Ashne and Abia, the sons of Merari, Mali, Libni his son, Shimei his son, Uzah his son, Shimea his son, Haggia his son, Isaiah his son, and these are they whom David set over the service of song in the house of the Lord, after that the ark had rest, and they ministered before the dwelling place of the tabernacle of the congregation with singing until Solomon had built the house of the Lord in Jerusalem. And they waited on their office according to their order. And these are they that waited with their children, of the sons of the Kohathites, Haman the singer, the son of Joel, the son of Shemuel the son of Elkanah, the son of Jeruham, the son of Eliel, the son of Toa, the son of Zuf, the son of Elkanah, the son of Mahat, the son of Amasai, the son of Elkanah, the son of Joel, the son of Azariah, the son of Zephaniah, the son of Tahat, the son of Aser, the son of Ibiasaf, the son of Korah, the son of Ezer, the son of Kohat, the son of Levi, the son of Israel. And his brother Asaph, who stood in his right hand, even Asaph, the son of Berachiah, the son of Shimei, the son of Michael, the son of Baseah, the son of Machiah, the son of Ethne, the son of Zerah, the son of Adiah, the son of Ethan, the son of Zema, the son of Shimei, the son of Jahat, the son of Geshem, the son of Levi. And their brethren, the sons of Merari, stood on the left hand. Ethan the son of Kishi, the son of Abdi, the son of Malok, the son of Hishabiah, the son of Imaziah, the son of Hikia, the son of Amzi, the son of Bani, the son of Shama, the son of Mali, the son of Mushi, 
the son of Merari, the son of Levi. Their brethren also, the Levites, were appointed unto all manner of service of the tabernacle of the house of God. But Aaron and his sons offered up the altar of the burnt offering and on the altar of incense and were appointed for all the work of the place most holy and to make an atonement for Israel according to all that Moses the servant of God had commanded. And these are the sons of Aaron, Eliza his son, Phinehah his son, Abishua his son, Buki his son, Uzi his son, Zerahiah his son, Merayot his son, Amariah his son, Ahitop his son, Zadok his son, Ahimaz his son. Now these are their dwelling places throughout their castles in their coast of the sons of Aaron, of the families of the Kohathites, for theirs was the Lord. And they gave them Hebron in the land of Judah and the suburbs thereof round about it. For the fields of the city and the villages thereof they gave to Caleb the son of Jephunneh, and to the sons of Aaron they gave the cities of Judah, namely Hebron, the city of refuge, Libna with her suburbs, and Jeter and Eshtemoah with their suburbs, and Helem with their suburbs, Debeh with her suburbs, and Ashan with her suburbs, and Beth Shemesh with her suburbs, and out of the tribe of Benjamin, Geba with her suburbs. Alemet with her suburbs, Anathoth with her suburbs. All their cities throughout their families were thirteen cities. Unto the sons of Kohath, which were left of the family of that tribe, were cities given out of the half tribe, namely, out of the half tribe of Manasseh by Lot, ten cities. And to the sons of Geshem, throughout their families, out of the tribe of Issachar, and out of the tribe of Asher, and out of the tribe of Naphtali, out of the tribe of Manasseh in Bashan, thirteen cities. Unto the sons of Merari were given by Lot throughout their families, out of the tribe of Reuben, and out of the tribe of Gad, and out of the tribe of Zebulun, twelve cities. And the children of Israel gave to the Levi these cities with their suburbs, and they gave by Lot out of the tribe of the children of Judah, out of the tribe of the children of Simon, out of the tribe of the children of Benjamin these cities which are called by their names, and the residue of the families of the sons of Kohad as cities of their coast out of the tribe of Ephraim, and they gave unto them of the cities of refuge Shechem in Mount Ephraim with her suburbs, they gave also Giza with her suburbs, and Jukmia with her suburbs, and Bethron with her suburbs, and Aijelon with her suburbs, and Gatrimon with her suburbs, and out of the half tribe of Manasseh, and now with her suburbs, Biliam with her suburbs, for the family of the remnant of the sons of Kohath, unto the sons of Golan in Bashan with her suburbs, and Asheroth with her suburbs. Unto the sons of Geshem were given out of the family of the half tribe of Manasseh, Golan in Bashan with her suburbs, and Asheroth with her suburbs, and out of the tribes of Issachar, Kadesh with her suburbs, Deberat with her suburbs, Ramoth with her suburbs, Anem with her suburbs, and out of the tribe of Asher, Masha with her suburbs, and Abdon with her suburbs, and Huko with her suburbs, and Rehob with her suburbs, and out of the tribe of Naphtali, Kadesh in Galilee with her suburbs, Hamon with her suburbs, Kejathim with her suburbs. Unto the rest of the children of Merari were given out of the tribe of Zebulon, Rimon with her suburbs, Tabor with her suburbs, and on the other side, Jordan by Jericho, on the east side of Jordan, were given them out of the tribe of Reuben, Bezer in the wilderness with her suburbs, and Jaza with her suburbs, Kidemoth also with her suburbs, Mephath with her suburbs, and out of the tribe of Gad, Ramoth in Gilead with her suburbs, Mahanim with her suburbs, and Hezbon with her suburbs, Jazer with her suburbs. Now, the sons of Issachar were Tola, and Pua, Jashub, and Shimron, for the sons of Tola, Uzi, and Rephaiah, and Jeriel, and Jemiah, and Gibson, and Shemiel, heads of their father's house, to wit of Tola, they were valiant men of might in their generations, whose number was in the days of David two and twenty thousand and six hundred. And the sons of Uzi, Israeliah, the sons of Israeliah, Michael, and Obadiah, and Joel and Ishiah, five, all of them chief men, and with them 
by their generations after the hearts of their fathers were bands of soldiers for war, six and thirty thousand men, for they had many wives and sons, and their brethren among all the families of Issachar were valiant men of might, reckoned in all by their genealogies four score and seven thousand. The sons of Benjamin, Bela and Becha, and Jediel three. The sons of Bela, Isbon and Uzi and Uziel and Jerimoth and Eri five. Heads of the house of their fathers, mighty men of valor, and were reckoned by their genealogies twenty and two thousand and thirty and four. The sons of Becha, Zemira and Joash and Eleazar and Elunai and Omri and Jerimoth and Abiah and Anathoth and Alamed. All these are the sons of Bechar, and the number of them after their genealogy by their generations, heads of the house of their fathers, mighty men of Velo, was twenty thousand and two hundred. The sons also of Jediel, Bilhan, and the sons of Bilhan, Jeush, and Benjamin, and Ehud, and Chenana, and Zethan, and Tashish, and Ahisheba. All these the sons of Jediel, by the heads of their fathers, mighty men of valor, were seventeen thousand and two hundred soldiers, fit to go out for war and battle. Shopim also, Hupim, the children of Er, and Hoshim, the sons of Ahar, the sons of Naphtali, Jaziel and Guni, and Jeza, and Shalom, the sons of Behar, the sons of Manasseh, Asher, whom she bare, but his concubine the Aramites bare Mashe, the father of Gilead. And Mashiach took to wife the sister of Hupim and Shupim, whose sister's name was Macha, and the name of the second was Zelophehad, and Zelophehad had daughters. And Macha, the wife of Mashe, bare his son, she called his name Peresh, and the name of his brother was Sheresh, and the sons were Olam and Rakim. And the sons of Olam, Bidan, these were the sons of Gilead. The son of Mache, the son of Manasseh, Hamolekev, Be Ishod, and Abiza, and Mahala. And the sons of Shemida were Ehaya, and Shechem, and Liki, and Anayam. And the sons of Ephraim, Shutela, and Bered his son, and Tahat his son, and Elada his son, and Tahat his son, and Zabad his son, and Shutela his son, and Eza, and Eliad, all the men of God. That were born in that land slew because they came down to take away their cattle. And Ephraim their father mourned many days, and his brethren came to comfort him. And when he went into his wife, she conceived and bare his son, and he called his name Beriah, because it went evil with his house. And his daughter was Shera, who built Bethron, the Nether, and the Upper, and Uzel Shera. And Repha was his son, also Reshev, and Tela his son and Tahan his son, Ladan his son, Amihud his son, Elishama his son, Nun his son, Jehushua his son, and their possessions and habitations were Bethel and the town Zeroth, and eastward Naran, and westward Giza, with the town Zeroth, Shechem also, and the town Zeroth, unto Gaza the town Zeroth, and by the borders of the children of Manasseh, Bethshea and her towns, Tanach and her towns, Megiddo and her towns, Dor and her towns. In these dwelt the children of Joseph, the son of Israel. The sons of Asher, Imna, and Iswa, and Ishwa, and Beriah, and Sarah, their sister. And the sons of Beriah, Heba, and Malkiel, who is the father of Bezaveth. And Heba begat Jablet, and Shoma, and Hotam, and Shua, their sister. And the sons of Japhlet, Pasak, and Bimhal and Ashavad. And these are the children of Japhlet, and the sons of Shama, Ahi, and Roga, and Jehuba, and Aram, and the sons of his brother Helem, Zopha, and Imna, and Shelesh, and Amal, and the sons of Zopha, Sua, and Hanifa, and Shua, and Beri, and Imra, Beza, and Hod, and Shama, and Shisha, and Itran and Bera, and the sons of Jeta, Jephune, and Pisha, and Ara, and the sons of Ula, Ara, and Haniel, and Rezia, all these were the children of Asha, 
heads of their father's house, choice mighty men of valor, chief of the princes, and the number throughout the genealogy of them that were apt to war and to battle was twenty and six thousand men. Now Benjamin begat Bela his firstborn, Ashbel the second, and Ahara the third, Noha the fourth, and Rapha the fifth, and the sons of Bela were Ada and Gera and Abihud, and Abishua and Nema and Ahoha and Gera and Shephufan and Huram. And these are the sons of Ehud, these are the heads of the fathers of the inhabitants of Geba, and they removed them to Manahat. And Nema and Ahia and Gera, he removed them and begat Uzzah and Ahihud. And Shaharim began children in the country of Moab, after he had sent them away. Hushim and Bara were his wife, and he begat Hodesh his wife, Jobab and Zibia, and Mesha and Malcolm and Jews and Shakia and Mema. These were his sons, heads of the fathers. And Hushim he begat Abitob and Ipal, and the sons of Ipal, Iba, and Misham, and Shamed, who built Ono, and Lord with the towns thereof. Beriah also, and Shema, who were heads of the fathers of the inhabitants of Aijelon, who drove away the inhabitants of Gath, and Ahio, Shashak, and Jeremoth, and Zebadiah, and Erad, and Ada, and Michael, and Ipsa, and Joha, the sons of Beriah and Zebadiah, and Meshulam, and Hezekiah, and Heba, and Ishmerai also, and Jisliah, and Jobab, the sons of Ipah, and Jakim, and Zikri, and Zabdi, and Elaniah, and Zilthai, and Eliel, and Adiah, and Beriah, and Shimrad, the sons of Shimei, and Ishpan, and Heba, and Eliel, and Abdon, and Zikri, and Hanan, and Hananiah, and Elam, and Atotijah, and Ephediah, and Penuel, the sons of Shashak, and Shamshirai, and Shehiriah, and Athaliah, and Jerusiah, and Eliah, and Zikri, the sons of Jeroham. These were heads of the fathers, but their generations, chief men, these dwelt in Jerusalem, and at Gibeon dwelt the father of Gibeon, whose wife's name was Masha. And his firstborn son Abdon, and Zor, and Kish, and Baal, and Nadab, and Gedo, and Ahio, and Zachar, and Miklot begat Shimea, and these also dwelt with their brethren in Jerusalem over and kissed them. And Ner begat Kish, and Kish begat Saul, and Saul begat Jonathan, and Machishwa, and Abinadab, and Ishbal. And the son of Jonathan was Meribal. And Meribah begat Micah, and the sons of Micah were Pithon, and Melech, and Teriah, and Ahaz. And Ahaz begat Jehoiada, and Jehoiada begat Elemet, and Azmevet, and Zimri, and Zimri begat Moza, and Moza begat Binia. Rapha was his son, Eleazar was his son, Ezel was his son, and Ezel had six sons whose names are these Azrikam, Boshero, Ishmael, Sheriah, and Obadiah, and Hanan. All these were the sons of Ezel, and the sons of Eshek his brother were, Olam his firstborn, Jehush the second, and Eliphelet the third, and the sons of Olam were mighty men of valor, archers, and had many sons, and, and sons' sons, and hundred and fifty. All these are all the sons of Benjamin. So all Israel were reckoned by genealogies, and behold, they were written in the book of the kings of Israel and Judah who were carried away to Babylon for their transgressions. Now the first inhabitants that dwelt in their possessions in their cities were the Israelites, the priests, the Levites, and the native names. And in Jerusalem dwelt of the children of Judah, and of the children of Benjamin, and of the children of Ephraim and Manasseh, Uthai the son of Amihud, the son of Omri, the son of Imri, the son of Bani, of the children of Pharez, the son of Judah, and of the Shilonite, Asiah, the firstborn, and his sons, and of the sons of Zerah, Jeol, and their brethren, 690, and of the sons of Benjamin, Salu, the son of Meshulam, the son of Hodaviah, 
the son of Hasenua, and Ibnea, the son of Jeroham, and Elah, the son of Uzi, the son of Mikri, and Meshulam, the son of Shephetiah, and the son of Reuel, the son of Ibnijah, and their brethren according to their generations, 950 and 6. All these men were chief of the fathers in the house of their fathers, and of the priest Jediah, and Jehoiarib, and Jachin, and Nazariah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Meshulam, the son of Zadok, the son of Merayot, the son of Ahitob, the ruler of the house of God, and Adiah, the son of Jeroham, the son of Pashur, the son of Machijah, and Messiah, the son of Adiel, the son of Jezera, the son of Meshulam, the son of Meshilemit, the son of Ima, and their brethren, heads of the house of their fathers, a thousand and seven hundred and three score, very able men for the work of the service of the house of God. And of the Levites, Shemaiah, the son of Hashob, the son of Azrakam, the son of Hashibiah, of the sons of Merari, and Bakbaka, Heresh, and Galal, and Mataniah, the son of Micah, the son of Zikri, the son of Asaph, and Obadiah, the son of Shemaiah, the son of Galal, the son of Jedutom, and Berechiah, the son of Asa, the son of Elkanah, that dwelt in the villages of the Netophatites. And the potters were Shalom, and Akob, and Talmon, and Ahima, and their brethren. Shalom was the chief, who hitherto waited in the king's gate eastwards. They were potters in the companies of the children of Levi. And Shalom, the son of Kore, the son of Ebiasaf, the son of Korah, and his brethren, and of the house of his father, the Koharites, were over the work of the service, keepers of the gates of the tabernacle, and their fathers, being over the host of the Lord, were keepers of the entry. And Phinehas, the son of Eliza, was the ruler over them in time past, and the Lord was with him. And Zechariah, the son of Meshelemiah, was potter of the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. All these which were chosen to be potters in the gates were 212. These were reckoned by their genealogy in their villages, whom David and Samuel the seer did ordain in their set office. So they and their children had the oversight of the gates of the house of the Lord, namely the house of the tabernacle by words. In four quarters were the porters, towards the east, west, north, and south, and their brethren which were in their villages were to come after seven days from time to time with them. For these Levites, the four chief porters, were in their set office and were over the chambers and treasuries of the house of God. And they lodged round about the house of God, because the charge was upon them, and the opening thereof every morning pertained to them. And certain of them had the charge of the ministry vessels, that they should bring them in and out by tail. Some of them also were appointed to oversee the vessels, and all the instruments of the sanctuary, and the fine flour, and the wine, and the oil, and the frankincense, and the spices. And some of the sons of the priests made the ointment of the spices. And Matitiah, one of the Levites, who was the firstborn of Shalom, the Korahite, had a set of his over the things that were made in the pans. And the order of the brethren and of the sons of the Kohathites were over the shoe bread to prepare it every Sabbath. And these are the singers, chief of the fathers of the Levites, who walk day and night. The chief fathers of the Levites were chief throughout their generations. These dwelt at Jerusalem. And in Gibeon dwelt the father of Gibeon, Jahel, whose wife's name was Macha, his firstborn son, Adam, then Zor, and Kish, and Baal, and Ne, and Nadab, and Gido, and Ahio, and Zechariah, and Miklav. And Miklav became Shimia. They also dwelt with their brethren at Jerusalem, over against their brethren. And they begat Kish, and Kish begat Saul, and Saul begat Jonathan, and Machushua, and Abinadab, and Eshbal. And the son of Jonathan was Meribal, and Meribal begat Micah, and the son of Micah were Pithon, and Melech, and Tharia, and Ahaz. And Ahaz begat Jara, and Jara begat Alemet, 
and Asmaveth, and Zimri, and Zimri begat Moza, and Moza begat Binia, and Rephiah his son, Elisa his son, Ezo his son, and Ezo had six sons whose names are these, Azrikam, Bochero, and Ishmael, and Shariah, and Obadiah, and Hanan. These were the sons of Ezo. Now the Philistines fought against Israel, and then the men of Israel fled from before the Philistines, and fell down slain in the mount of Gibor. And the Philistines followed hard after Saul and after their sons. And the Philistines slew Jonathan and Abinadab and Metrishua, the sons of Saul. And the battle went Saul against Saul, and the archers hit him, and he was wounded of the archers. Then said Saul to his armor bearer, Draw thy sword, trust me through therewith, lest this uncircumcised came and abuse me. But his armor bearer would not, for he was so afraid. So Saul took the sword and fell upon it. And when his armor bearer saw that Saul was dead, he fell likewise on the sword and died. So Saul died, and his three sons and all his house died together. And when all the men of Israel that were in the valley saw that they fled, and that Saul his son were dead, then they forsook their cities and fled. And the Philistines came and dwelt in them. And it came to pass on the morrow, when the Philistines came to strip the slain, that they found Saul and his sons falling in Mount Gibor. And then they had stripped him, and they took his head and his armor, and sent it into the land of the Philistines round about to carry tidings unto their idols and to the people. And they put his armor in the house of their gods, and fastened his head in the temple of Dagon. And when all the Jabesh Gilead heard all that the Philistines had done to Saul, they arose and all the valiant men and took away the body of Saul and the body of his sons and wrought them in Jabesh and buried their bones under the oak in Jabesh and fasted seven days. So Saul died for his transgressions which he committed against the Lord, even against the word of the Lord which he kept not, and also for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit to inquire of it, and inquired not of the Lord. Therefore he slew him, and turned the kingdom unto David, the son of Jesse. Then all Israel gathered themselves to David unto Hebron, saying, Behold, we are thy bone and thy flesh. And moreover, in time past, even when Saul was king, that was he that led us out and brought us in Israel. And the Lord thy God said unto thee, Thou shalt feed my people Israel, and thou shalt be ruler over my people Israel. Therefore came all the elders of Israel to the king to Hebron, and David made a covenant with them in Hebron before the Lord. And they anointed David king over Israel, according to the word of the Lord by Samuel. And David and all Israel went to Jerusalem, which is Jebus, where the Jebusites were, the inhabitants of the land. And the inhabitants of Jebus said to David, Thou shalt not come hither. Nevertheless, David took the castle of Zion, which is the city of David. And David said, Whosoever smited the Jebusite first shall be chief and captain. So Joab the son of Zeruiah went first up and was chief. And David dwelt in the castle, therefore they called it the city of David. And he built the city round about, even from Milo round about. And Joab repaired the rest of the city. So David was greater and greater, for the Lord of hosts was with him. These also are the chief of the mighty men whom David had, who strengthened themselves with him in his kingdom, and with all Israel to make him king, according to the word of the Lord concerning Israel. And this is the number of the mighty men whom David had, Jashobim and Hashmonite, the chief of the captains. He lifted up his spear against three hundred slain by him at one time. And after him was Eliza, the son of Dodo, the Ahuhad, who was one of the three mighties. He was with David at Pazdamim, and there the Philistines were gathered together to battle, where was a parcel of ground full of barley, and the people fled from before the Philistines. And they set themselves in the midst of the parcel, and delivered it, and slew the Philistines, and the Lord saved them by a great deliverance. Now three of the thirty captains went down to the rock to David, into the cave of Adullam, and the host of the Philistines encamped in the valley by Riffin. 
and David was then in the hold, and the Philistines' garrison was then at Bethlehem. And David longed and said, Oh, that one would give me drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem that is at the gate. And the three break through the host of the Philistines and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate and took it and brought it to David. But David would not drink of it, but poured it out to the Lord and said, My God forbid me that I should do this thing. Shall I drink the blood of these men that have put their lives in jeopardy? For with the jeopardy of their lives, they brought it, therefore he will not drink it. These sins did these three mightiest, and Abishai, the brother of Joab, he was chief of the three, for lifting up his spear against three hundred, he slew them and had a name among the three. Of the three, he was more honorable than the two, for he was their captain. Howbeit, he attained not the first three. Beniah, the son of Jehoiada, the son of a valiant man of Kabzeel, who had done many acts, he slew two lion-like men of Moab. Also, he went down and slew a lion in the pit in a snowy day. And he slew an Egyptian, a man of great stature, five cubits high, and in the Egyptian's hand was a spear like a weaver's beam. And he went down to him with his staff and plucked the spear out of the Egyptian's hand and slew him with his own spear. These things did Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada, and had the name among the three mighties. Behold, he was honorable among the thirty, but attained not the first three, and David set him over his guard. Also the valiant men of the armies were Asahel, the brother of Joab, Ehanan, the son of Dodo of Bethlehem, Shamoth, the Harorite, Elez, the Pelonite, Ira, the son of Ikesh, the Tekoite, Abiza, the Antutite, Sibekai, the Hushatite, Eli the Auhite, Maharai the Netophatite, Heled the son of Bana the Netophatite, Itai the son of Ribai of Gibeah that pertained to the children of Benjamin, Beniah the Piranotite, Hurai of the brooks of Gash, Abel the Abethite, Amzavet the Baharomite, Eliaba the Shabonite, the sons of Hashem the Gizonite, Jonathan the son of Shaji the Hararite, Ahiam the son of Saka the Hararite, Eliphah the son of Or, Hepha the Mesharathite, Ahijah the Pelonite, Hezra the Carmelite, Narai the son of Esbai, Joel the brother of Nathan, Mibha the son of Megari, Zelek the Ammonite, Naharai the Berothite, the Ammon bearer of Joab the son of Zeruiah, Ira the Etrite, Gareb the Etrite, Uriah the Hittite, Zaba the son of Alai, Adina the son of Shiza the Rubenite, a captain of the Rubenites, and thirty with him, Hannah the son of Macha, and Jehoshaphat the Midnite, Uzziah the Ashtorite, Shama and Jahel the son of Hotan the Arorite, Jediah the son of Shimri, and Joha his brother, Tizite, Eli the Mahabite, and Jeribai, and Joshaviah, the sons of Elnam, Itma, the Moabite, Eliel, and Obed, and Jaziel, and Mesobed. Now these are they that came to David to Ziklag, while he kept himself close because of Saul, the son of Kish. And they were among the mighty men, helpers of the war. They were armed with bows, could use both the right hand and the left in holy stones, and shooting arrows out of a bow even of Saul's brethren of Benjamin. The chief was Ahiza, then Joash, the sons of Shema, the Gibeatite, and Jeziel, and Pelet, the sons of Amzabeth, and Berachar, and Jehu, the Antutite, and Isme, the Gibeonite, a mighty man among the thirty, and over the thirty, and Jeremiah, and Jahaziel, and Johanan, and Josabad, the Gederatite, Eluzai, and Jeremoth, and Beliah, and Shemariah, and Shephatiah, and Huraphite, Elkanah, and Jesiah, and Azariel, and Joiza, and Jashobim, the Korite, and Joela, and Zebadiah, the sons of Jeroham of Gido, and of the Gadites, they separated themselves unto David, unto the whole to the wilderness men of might, and men of war fit for the battle, that would handle shield and buckler, whose faces 
were like the faces of lions and were as swift as the roads upon the mountains. Ezer the first, Obadiah the second, Eliab the third, Mishpana the fourth, Jeremiah the fifth, Atai the sixth, Eliel the seventh, Johanna the eighth, Elzabad the ninth, Jeremiah the tenth, Majbana the eleventh. These were of the sons of God, captains of the host. One of the least was over an hundred, and the greatest over a thousand. These are they that went over Jordan in the first month, when it had overflowed all his banks, and they put to flight all them of the valleys, both towards the east and towards the west. And they came of the children of Benjamin and Judah to the hold unto David. And David went out to meet them, and answered and said unto them, If ye be come peaceably unto me to help me, my heart shall be knit unto you. But if ye be come to betray me to my enemies, seeing there is no wrong in my hands, God of our fathers looked thereon and rebuked it. Then the Spirit came upon Amasai, who was chief of the captains, and he said, Thine are we, David, and on thy side, thou son of Jesse, peace, peace be unto thee, and peace be to thine helpers, for thy God helped thee. Then David received them, and made them captains of the band. And there fell some Manasseh to David, when he came with the Philistines against Saul to battle. But they helped them not, for the loss of the Philistines upon advisement sent him away, saying, he will fall to his master Saul, to the jeopardy of our heads. As he went to Ziklag, there fell to him Manasseh, Adna, and Juzabad, and Dedael, and Michael, and Juzabad, and Elihu, and Zilthai, captains of the thousands that were of Manasseh. And he helped David against the band of the rovers, for they were all mighty men of valor, and were captains in the host, for at that time Day by day there came to David to help him until it was a great host like the host of God. And these are the numbers of the bands that were ready armed to the war and came to David to Hebron to turn the kingdom of Saul to him according to the word of the Lord. The children of Judah that bear shield and spear were six thousand and eight hundred ready armed to the war. And of the children of Simon mighty men of valor for the war seven thousand and one hundred. Of the children of Levi, 4,600. And Jehoiada was the leader of the Aaronites, and with him were 3,700. And Zadok, a young man mighty of Velo, and of his father's house, 20 and two captains. And of the children of Benjamin, the kindred of Saul, 3,000. For Hitharo, the greatest part of them, had kept the word of the house of Saul. And of the children of Ephraim, 20,800 mighty men of Velo, famous throughout the house of their fathers. And of the tribe of Manasseh, 18,000, which were expressed by name, to come and make David king. And of the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times, to know what Israel ought to do, the heads of them were 200, and all their brethren were at their commandment. Of Zebulon, such as went forth to battle, as part of war with all instruments of war, 50,000 which could keep rank, they were not of double heart. And of Naphtali, a thousand captains, and with them with shield and spear, 30 and 7,000. And of the Danites, expert in war, 20 and 8,600. And of Asher, such as went forth to battle, expert in war, 40,000. And on the other side of Jordan, of the Rubenites and the Gadites, and of the half-tribe of Manasseh with all manner of instruments of war for the battle, a hundred and twenty thousand. All these men of war that would keep rank came with a perfect heart to Hebron to make David king over all Israel. And all the rest also of Israel were of one heart to make David king. And yet they were with David three days eating and drinking, for their brethren had prepared for them. Moreover, they that were nigh, even unto Issachar and Zebulon and Naphtali, brought bread on asses and on camels and on mules and on oxen and meat, meal, cakes of figs and bunches of raisins and wine and oil and oxen and sheep abundantly, for there was joy in Israel. 
And David consulted with the captains of the thousands and hundreds and with every leader. And David said unto all the congregation of Israel, If it seem good unto you, and that it be of the Lord our God, let us send abroad unto our brethren everywhere that are left in all the land of Israel, and with them also to the priests and Levites which are in their cities and suburbs, that they may gather themselves unto us. Let us bring again the ark of our God to us, for we inquire not at it in the days of Saul. And all the congregation said that they would do so, for the thing was right in the eyes of all the people. So David gathered all Israel together, from Shehor of Egypt, even unto the entering of Hamath, to bring the ark of God from Kejah Jearim. And David went up and all Israel to Bela, that is, to Kejah Jearim, which belonged to Judah, to bring up thence the ark of God the Lord, that dwelleth between the cherubims, whose name is called on it. And they carried the ark of God in a new cart out of the house of Abinadab, and Uzzah and Ahio drove the cart. And David and all Israel played before God with all their might and with singing and with harps and with psalteries and with timbers and with cymbals and with trumpets. And they came unto the threshing floor of Chidon. Uzzah put forth his hand to hold the ark, for the oxen stumbled. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Uzzah, and he smote him, because he put his hand to the ark. And there he died before God. And David was displaced, because the Lord had made the breach upon Uzzah, Wherefore, that place is called Perezuza to this day. And David was afraid of God that day, saying, How shall I bring the ark of God home to me? So David brought not the ark home to himself to the city of David, but carried it aside into the house of Obedidom, the Gittite. And the ark of God remained with the family of Obedidom in his house three months. And the Lord blessed the house of Obedidom and all that he had. Now Hiram, king of Tyre, sent messengers to David, and timber of cedars, with masons and capitans to build him an house. And David perceived that the Lord had confirmed him king over Israel, for his kingdom was lifted up on high because of his people Israel. And David took more wives at Jerusalem, and David begat more sons and daughters. Now these are the names of his children which he had in Jerusalem, Shamwa and Shobab, Nathan and Solomon, and Ibhar, and Elishua, and El Palet, and Noga, and Nepheg, and Japhia, and Elishama, and Biliada, and Eliphalet. And when the Philistines heard that David was anointed king over all Israel, all the Philistines went up to seek David. And David heard of it, and went out against them. And the Philistines came and spread themselves in the valley of Rephim. And David inquired of God, saying, Shall I go up against the Philistines, without deliver them into my hand? And the Lord said unto him, Go up, for I will deliver them into thy hand. And so they came out to Bar Perazim, and David smote them there. Then David said, God has broken in upon my enemies, and my hand like the breaking forth of waters. Therefore they called the name of the place Bar Perazim. And when they had left their gods there, David gave commandment, and they were burnt with fire. And the Philistines yet again spread themselves abroad in the valley. Therefore David inquired of God, and God said unto him, Go not after them, turn away from them, and come upon them over against the mulberry trees. And it shall be, when thou shalt hear a sound of going in the top of the mulberry trees, that thou shalt go out to battle. For God is gone forth before thee to smite the host of the Philistines. David therefore did as God commanded him, and he smote the host of the Philistines from Gibeon even unto Gaza. And the fame of David went out into all the lands, and the Lord brought the fear of him upon all nations. And David made him houses in the city of David, and prepared a place for the ark of God, and pitched for it a tent. Then David said, Not ought to carry the ark of God, but the Levites. For them had the Lord chosen to carry the ark of God, and to minister unto him forever. And David gathered all Israel together to Jerusalem, to bring up the ark of the Lord unto his place, which he had prepared for it. And David assembled the children of Aaron and the Levite, of the sons of Kohath, Uriel the chief, and his brethren and hundred and twenty, and of the sons of Merari, Asiah the chief, and his brethren two hundred and twenty, of the sons of Geshem, Joel the chief, and his brethren and hundred and twenty, of the sons of Elisaphan, Shemaiah the chief, and his brethren two hundred. 
of the sons of Hebron, Eliab the chief, and his brethren, fourscore, of the sons of Uziel, Aminadab the chief, and his brethren, a hundred and twelve. And David called for Zadok and Abiathar the priest, and for the Levites, for Uriel, Asiah, and Joel, Shemaiah, and Eliab, and Aminadab, and said unto them, Ye are the chief of the fathers of the Levites. Sanctify yourself, both ye and your children, that ye may bring up the ark of the Lord God of Israel into the place that I have prepared for it. For because ye did it not at the first, the Lord our God made a breach upon us, for that we sought him not after the due order. So the priests and the Levites sanctified themselves to bring up the ark of the Lord God of Israel. And the children of Israel bear the ark of God upon their shoulders with the staves Sharon, as Moses commanded according to the word of the Lord. And David spake to the chief of the Levites to appoint their brethren to be the singers with instruments of music, psalteries and harps and cymbals, sounding by lifting up the voice with joy. So the Levites appointed Herman the son of Joah, and of the brethren Asaph the son of Berechiah, and of the sons of Merari their brethren, Ethan the son of Cushai, and with them their brethren of the second degree, Zechariah, Ben, and Jaziel, and Shemiramoth, and Jehiel, and Uni, and Eliab, and Beniah, and Messiah, and Metitiah, and Eliphele, and Mekniah, and Obedidom, and Jael, the porters. So the singers Herman, and Asaph, and Ethan were appointed to sound with cymbals of brass, and Zechariah, and Aziel, and Shemiramoth, and Jehiel, and Uni, and Eliab, and Marseiah, and Beniah, with sultries on Alamoth. And Matitiah, and Eliphele, and Mekniah, and Obedidon, and Jael, and Isaiah, with harps on the Sheminite, to excel. And Chenaniah, chief of the Levites, was for song. He instructed about the song, because he was skillful. And Berechiah, and Elkanah, were doorkeepers for the ark. And Shebaniah, and Jehoshaphat, and Nathaniel, and Amasai, and Zechariah, and Beniah, and Eliza the priest, these blow with the trumpets before the ark of God, and Obedidon and Jeniah were doorkeepers for the ark. So David and the elders of Israel, the captains over thousand, went to break up the ark of the covenant of the Lord out of the house of Obedidon with joy. And it came to pass, when God helped the Levites that bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord, that they offered seven bullocks and seven rams. And David was clothed with a robe of fine linen, and all the Levites that bear the ark, and the singers, and Chenaniah the master of the song with the singers, David also had upon him an ephod of linen. Thus all Israel brought up the ark of the covenant of the Lord, with shouting, and with sound of the covenant, and with trumpets, and with cymbals, making a sound with psalteries and harps. And it came to pass, as the ark of the covenant of God came to the city of David, that Michael, the daughter of Saul, looking out at the window, saw King David dancing and playing, and she despised him in her heart. So they brought the ark of God and set it in the midst of the tent that David had pitched for it. They offered burnt sacrifices and peace offerings before God. And when David had made an end of offering the burnt offerings and the peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord. And he dealt to every one of Israel, both man and woman, to everyone a loaf of bread, and a good piece of flesh, and a flagon of wine. And he appointed certain of the Levites to minister before the ark of the Lord, and to record and to thank and praise the Lord God of Israel. Asab the chief, and next to him Zechariah, Jael, and Shemiramoth, and Jehiel, and Matitiah, and Eliab, and Beniah, and Obedidon, and Jael with sultries and with harps, but Asab made a sound with cymbals. Beniah also, and Jehaziel the priest, with trumpets continually before the ark of the covenant of God. Then on that day, David delivered first this psalm to thank the Lord into the hand of Asaph and his brethren. Give thanks unto the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people, sing unto him, sing psalms unto him, talk ye of all his wondrous work, glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face continually. Remember his marvelous works that he hath done, his wonders and the judgment of his mouth. 
O ye seed of Israel, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen ones, he is the Lord our God, his judgment are in all our earth. Be ye mindful always of his covenant, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations, even of the covenant which he made with Abraham, and of his oath unto Isaac, and had confirmed the same to Jacob for a law, and to Israel for an everlasting covenant, saying, Unto thee will I give the land of Canaan, the lot of your inheritance, when ye were but few, even a few, and strangers in it. And when they went from nation to nation, and from one kingdom to another people, he suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sakes, saying, Touch not my anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Sing unto the Lord all the earth, show forth from day to day his salvation, declare his glory among the hidden, his marvelous works among all nations. For great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. He also is to be feared above all gods, for all the gods of the people are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Glory and honor are in his presence, strength and gladness are in his place. Give unto the Lord, ye kindreds of the people, give unto the Lord glory and strength, give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name, bring an offering and come before him, worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness, fear before him all the earth. The world also shall be stable, that it be not moved. Let the heavens be glad, and let the earth rejoice, and let men say among the nations, The Lord reigneth. Let the sea roar, and the fullness thereof. Let the fields rejoice, and all that is therein. Then shall the trees of the world sing out at the presence of the Lord, because he cometh to judge the earth. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. And say ye, Save us, O God of our salvation, and gather us together, and deliver us from the hidden, that we may give thanks to thy holy name, and glory in thy praise. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel forever and ever. And all the people said, Amen. And praise be the Lord. So he left there before the ark of the covenant of the Lord, Asa and his brethren, to minister before the ark continually, as every day's work quiet and Obididon with their brethren threescore and eight, and Obididon also the son of Jeduton and Hosa to be porters, and Zadok the priest and his brethren the priest, before the tabernacle of the Lord in the high place that was at Gibeah, to offer burnt offerings unto the Lord upon the altar of the burnt offering continually morning and evening, and to do according to all that is written in the law of the Lord, which he commanded Israel, and with them Herman and Jeduton and the rest that were chosen, who were expressed by name to give thanks to the Lord, because his mercy endured forever. And with them Herman and Jeduton with trumpets and cymbals for those that should make a sound, and with musical instruments of God, and the sons of Jeduton were potters. And all the people departed every man to his house, and David returned to bless his house. Now it came to pass, as David's heart in his house, that David said to Nathan the prophet, Lo, I dwell in a house of cedar, but the ark of the covenant of the Lord remained under circuit. Then Nathan said unto David, Do all that is in thy heart, for God is with thee. And it came to pass the same night that the word of God came to Nathan, saying, Go and tell David my servant. Thus said the Lord, Thou shalt not build me a house to dwell in, for I have not dwelt in a house since the day that I brought up Israel unto this day but have gone from tent to tent, and from one tabernacle to another. Wheresoever I have walked with all Israel, speak I a word to any of the judges of Israel, whom I commanded to feed my people, saying, Why have ye not built me a house of cedars? Now therefore, thus shalt thou say unto my servant David, Thus said the Lord of hosts, I took thee from the sheep coat, even from following sheep, that thou shouldest be ruler over my people Israel, and I have been with thee whithersoever that has worked, and have cut off all thine enemies from before thee, and have made thee a name like the name of the great men that are in the earth. Also I will ordain a place for my people Israel, I will plant them, and they shall dwell in their place, and shall be moved no more, neither shall the children of wickedness wish them any more, as at the beginning. 
and since the time that I commanded judges to be over my people Israel, moreover, I will subdue all thy enemies. Furthermore, I tell thee that the Lord will build thee a house, and it shall come to pass, when thy days be expired, that thou must go to be with thy fathers, that I will raise up thy seed after thee, which shall be of thy sons, and I will establish his kingdom. He shall build me a house, and I will establish his throne forever. I will be his father, and he shall be my son. And I will not take my mercy away from him, as I took it from him that was before thee. But I will settle him in my house, and in my kingdom forever. And his throne shall be established forevermore. According to all these words, and according to all this vision, so did Nathan speak unto David. And David the king came and sat before the Lord, and said, Who am I, O Lord God? What is my house that thou hast brought me hitherto? And yet this was a small thing in thine eyes, O God. For thou hast also spoken of thy servant's house for a great while to come, and hast regarded me according to the estate of a man of high degree, O Lord God. What can David speak more to thee for the honor of thy servant? For thou knowest thy servant, O Lord, for thy servant's sake, and according to thy own heart, thou hast done all this greatness, in making known all these great things. O Lord, there is none like thee, neither is there any God beside thee, according to all that we have heard with our ears. And what one nation in the earth is like thy people, Israel, whom God went to redeem to be his own people, to make thee a name of greatness and terribleness by driving out nations from before the people whom thou hast redeemed out of Egypt. For the people of Israel didst thou make thine own people forever, and thou, Lord, became their God. Therefore now, Lord, let the things that thou hast spoken concerning thy servant and concerning his house be established forever, and do as thou hast said. Let it even be established that thy name be magnified forever, saying, The Lord of hosts is the God of Israel, even a God to Israel, and let the house of David thy servant be established before thee. For thou, O my God, hast told thy servant that thou wilt build him a house. Therefore thy servant had found it in his heart to pray before thee. And now, Lord, thou art God, and hast promised this goodness unto thy servant. Now therefore, let it please thee to bless the house of thy servant, that it may be before thee forever. For thou blessed, O Lord, and it shall be blessed forever. Now after this, it came to pass that David smote the Philistines, and subdued them, and took Gath and her towns out of the hand of the Philistines. And he smote Moab, and the Moabites became David's servant, and brought gift. And David smote Hadarezer, king of Zobah, unto Hamath, as he went to establish his dominion by the river Euphrates. And David took from him a thousand chariots, and seven thousand horsemen, and twenty thousand footmen. David also held all the chariots' horses, but reserved them of an hundred chariots. And when the Syrians of Damascus came to help Hadarezer, king of Zobah, David slew of the Syrians two and twenty thousand men. Then David put garrisons in Syria Damascus, and the Syrians became David's servants and brought gift. Thus the Lord preserved David whithersoever he went. And David took the sheaves of goods that were on the servants of Hadarezer and brought them to Jerusalem. Likewise from Tibad and from Chun, cities of Hadarezer brought David very much brass, wherewith Solomon made the brazen sea and the pillars and the vessels of brass. Now when thou king of Hamad heard how David had smitten all the hosts of Hadarezer, king of Zobah, he sent Hadoram his son to King David to inquire of his welfare and to congratulate him, because he had fought against Hadarezer and smitten him. For Hadareza had war with Tal, and with him all manner of vessels of gold and silver and brass. Them also King David dedicated unto the Lord with the silver and the gold that he brought from all these nations, from Edom and from Moab, and from the children of Ammon, and from the Philistines, and from Amalek. Moreover, Abishai, the son of Zeruiah, slew of the Edomites in the valley of Salt, 18,000, and he put garrisons in Edom and all the Edomites became David's servant. Thus the Lord preserved David whithersoever he went. So David reigned over all Israel, and executed judgment and justice among all his people. 
and Joab the son of Zeruiah was over the host, and Jehoshaphat the son of Ahilud recorder, and Zadok the son of Ahitob, and Abimelech the son of Abiathar were the priests, and Shasha was scribe, and Beniah the son of Jehoiada was over the Cherutite and the Pelitite, and the sons of David were chief about the king. Now it came to pass after this that Nahash the king of the children of Ammon died, and his son reigned in his stead. And David said, I will show kindness unto Hanun the son of Nahash, because his father showed kindness to me. And David sent messengers to comfort him concerning his father. So the servants of David came into the land of the children of Ammon to Hanun to comfort him. But the princes of the children of Ammon said to Hanun, Thinkest thou that David doth honor thy father, that he had sent comforters unto thee? And not his servants come unto thee for to search and to overthrow and to spy out the land? Wherefore Hanun took David's servants and shaped them and cut off their garments in the midst hard by their buttocks and sent them away. Then there went certain and told David how the men were served, and he sent to meet them, for the men were greatly ashamed. And the king said, Tarry at Jericho until your beds be grown, and then return. And when the children of Ammon saw that they had made themselves odious to David, Hanun and the children of Ammon sent a thousand talents of silver to hire them chariots and horsemen out of Mesopotamia, and out of Syria Machar, and out of Zuba. So they hired thirty and two thousand chariots, and the king of Machar, his people, who came and preached before Mediba, and the children of Ammon gathered themselves together from their cities, and came to battle. And when David heard of it, he sent Joab and all the hosts of the mighty men, and the children of Ammon came out, and put the battle in array before the gate of the pity, and the kings that would come were by themselves in the field. Now when Joab saw that the battle was set against him before and behind, he chose out of all the choice of Israel, and put them in array against the Syrians, and the rest of the people he delivered into the hand of Abishai his brother, and they set themselves in array against the children of Ammon. And he said, If the Syrians be too strong for me, then thou shalt help me. But if the children of Ammon be too strong for thee, then I will help thee. Be of good courage, and let us behave ourselves valiantly for our people, for the cities of our God, and let the Lord do that which is good in his sight. So Joab and the people that were with him drew nigh before the Syrians unto the battle, and they fled before him. And when the children of Ammon saw that the Syrians were fled, they likewise fled before Abishai his brother, and entered into the city. Then Joab came to Jerusalem, and when the Syrians saw that they were put to the wars before Israel, they sent messengers and drew forth the Syrians that were beyond the river. And Shophak, the captain of the host of Adarezer, went before them. And it was told David, and he gathered all Israel, and passed over Jordan, and came upon them, and set the battle in array against them. So when David had put the battle in array against the Syrians, they fought with him. But the Syrians fled before Israel, and David slew of the Syrians seven thousand men which fought in chariots, and forty thousand footmen, and killed Shophak, the captain of the host. And when the servants of Hadarezer saw that they were put to the wars before Israel, they made peace with David and became his servant. Neither would the Syrians help the children of Ammon any more. And it came to pass that after the year was expired, at the time that kings go out to battle, Joab led forth the power of the army and wasted the country of the children of Ammon and came and besieged Rabbah. But David tarried at Jerusalem, and Joab smote Rabbah and destroyed it. And David took the crown of their king from off his head, and found it to weigh a talent of gold, and there were precious stones in it, and it was set upon David's head, and he brought also exceeding much spoil out of the city. And he brought out the people that were in it, and caught them with swords, and with arrows of iron, and with axes. Even so dealt David with all the cities of the children of Ammon, and David and all the people returned to Jerusalem. And it came to pass after this that there arose war at Giza with the Palestines, at which time Sibachai the Hushatite slew Sipai, that was of the children of the giant, and they were subdued. And there was war again with the Philistines, and Ehana the son of Jer slew Lami the brother of Goliath 
the Gittite, whose spear staff was like a weaver's beam. And yet again, there was war at Gath. There was a man of great stature, whose fingers and toes were four and twenty, six on each hand and six on each foot. And he was also the son of the giant. But when he defied Israel, Jonathan, the son of Shimei, David's brother, slew him. These were born unto the giant in Gath, and they fell by the hand of David and by the hand of his servant. And Satan stood up against Israel and provoked David to number Israel. And David said to Joab and to the rulers of the people, Go, number Israel from Bethsheba even to Dan, and bring the number of them to me, that I may know it. And Joab answered, The Lord make his people an hundred times so many more as they be. But my lord the king, are they not all my lord's servants? Why then doth my lord require this thing? Why will he be a cause of trespass to Israel? Nevertheless, the king's word prevailed against Joab. Wherefore Joab departed and went throughout all Israel and came to Jerusalem. And Joab gave the sum of the number of the people unto David. And all they of Israel were a thousand thousand and an hundred thousand men that drew sword. And Judah was four hundred three score and ten thousand men that drew sword. But Levi and Benjamin counted him not among them, for the king's word was abominable to Joab, and God was displeased with this thing, therefore he smote Israel. And David said unto God, I have sinned greatly, because I have done this thing, but now I beseech thee, do away the iniquity of thy servant, for I have done very foolishly. And the Lord spake unto God, David seer, saying, Go and tell David, saying, Thus said the Lord, I offer thee three things, choose thee one of them, that I may do it unto thee. So God came to David and said unto him, Thus said the Lord, Choose thee, either three years of famine, or three months to be destroyed before thy foes, why that the sword of thine enemies overtake thee, or else three days the sword of the Lord, even the pestilence in the land, and the angel of the Lord destroying throughout all the coast of Israel. Now therefore advise thyself what word I shall bring again to him that sent me. And David said unto God, I am in a great strait. Let me fall now into the hand of the Lord, for very great are his mercies. But let me not fall into the hand of man. So the Lord sent pestilence upon Israel, and there fell of Israel seventy thousand men. God sent an angel unto Jerusalem to destroy it. And as he was destroying it, the Lord beheld, and he repented him of the evil, and said to the angel that destroyed, It is enough, still now thine hand. And the angel of the Lord stood by the threshing floor of Onan, the Jebusite. And David lifted up his eyes, and saw the angel of the Lord stand between the earth and the heaven, having a drawn sword in his hand, stretched out over Jerusalem. Then David and the elders of Israel, who were clothed in sackcloth, fell upon their faces. And David said unto God, Is it not I that commanded the people to be numbered? Even I it is that have sinned, and done evil deed. But as for this sheep, what have they done? Let thy hand, I pray thee, O Lord my God, be on me and on my father's house, but not on thy people, that they should be plagued. Then the angel of the Lord commanded God to say to David, that David should go up and set up an altar unto the Lord in the threshing floor of Nam the Jebusite. And David went up at the saying of God, which he spake in the name of the Lord. And Onan turned back and saw the angel and his four sons with him hid themselves. Now Onan was stretching weight, and as David came to Onan, Onan looked and saw David and went out of the threshing floor and bowed himself to David with his face to the ground. Then David said to Onan, Grant me the place of his threshing floor, that I may build an altar therein unto the Lord. Thou shalt grant it me for the full price, that the plague may be stayed from the people. And Onan said unto David, Take it today, and let my lord the king do that which is good in his eyes. Lo, I give thee the oxen also for burnt offerings, and the threshing instrument for wood, and the wheat for the meat offering, I give it all. And king David said to Onan, Nay, but I will verily buy it for the full price, for I will not take that which is thine for the Lord, nor offer burnt offerings without cost. 
So David gave to Onan for the place 600 shekels of gold by weight, and David built there an altar unto the Lord, and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings, and called upon the Lord, and he answered him from heaven by fire upon the altar of burnt offering. And the Lord commanded the angel, and he put up his sword again into the sheet thereof. At that time, when David saw that the Lord had answered him in the threshing floor of Onan the Jebusite, then he sacrificed there. For the tabernacle of the Lord, which Moses made in the wilderness, and the altar of the burnt offering, were at that season in the high place at Gibeon. But David could not go before it to inquire of God, for he was afraid because of the sword of the angel of the Lord. Then David said, This is the house of the Lord God, and this is the order of the burnt offering for Israel. And David commanded to gather together the strangers that were in the land of Israel. And he sent masons to hew wrought stones to build the house of God. And David prepared iron in abundance for the nails for the doors of the gates, and for the joinings, and brass in abundance without weight. Also cedar trees in abundance, for the Zidonians and they of Tyre brought much cedar wood to David. And David said, Solomon my son is young and tender, and the house that is to be built for the Lord must be exceeding magnificent and of fame and of glory throughout all countries. I will therefore now make preparation for it. So David prepared abundantly before his death. Then he called for Solomon his son and charged him to build a house for the Lord God of Israel. And David said to Solomon my son, As for me, it was in my mind to build a house unto the name of the Lord my God. But the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Thou hast shed blood abundantly, and hast made great wars. Thou shalt not build a house unto my name, because thou hast shed much blood upon the earth in my sight. Behold, a son shall be born to thee, who shall be a man of rest, and I will give him rest from all his enemies round about. For his name shall be Solomon, and I will give him peace and quietness unto Israel his days. He shall build a house for my name, and he shall be my son, and I will be his father, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom over Israel forever. Now, my son, the Lord be with thee, and prosper thou, and build the house of the Lord thy God, as he hath said of thee. Only the Lord give thee wisdom and understanding, and give thee charge concerning Israel, that thou mayest keep the law of the Lord thy God. Then thou shalt prosper, if thou takest it to fulfill the statutes and judgments which the Lord charged Moses with concerning Israel. Be strong and of courage, dread not, nor be dismayed. Now behold, in my trouble I have prepared for the house of the Lord an hundred thousand talents of gold, and a thousand thousand talents of silver, brass and iron without weight, for it is in abundance. Timber also, stone have I prepared, and thou mayest add hitherto. Moreover, they are workmen with thee in abundance, hewers and workers of stone and timber, and of all manner of cunning men for every manner of work. Of the gold, the silver, and the brass, and the iron, there is no number. Arise therefore, and be doing, and the Lord be with thee. David also commanded all the princes of Israel to help Solomon his son, saying, Is not the Lord your God with you? And hath he not given you rest on every side? For he hath given the inhabitants of the land unto my hand, and the land is subdued before the Lord and before his people. Now set your heart and your soul to seek the Lord your God. Arise therefore, and build ye the sanctuary of the Lord God, to bring the ark of the covenant of the Lord, and the holy vessels of God, into the house that is to be built to the name of the Lord. So when David was old and full of days, he made Solomon his son king over Israel. And he gathered together all the princes of Israel, with the priests and the Levites. Now the Levites were numbered from the age of thirty years and upward, and their number by their poles, man by man was thirty and eight thousand, of which twenty and four thousand were to set forward the work of the house of the Lord, and six thousand were officers and judges. Moreover, four thousand were potters, and four thousand praised the Lord with the instrument which I made, said David, to praise therewith. And David divided them into courses among the sons of Levi, namely Geshon, Kohat, and Merari. Of the Geshonites were Ladan and Shimei. The sons of Ladan, the chief of Jehiel, and Zetan, and Joel. The sons of Shimei, Shelomit, and Hazel. 
and Haran. These were the chief of the fathers of Ladan, and the sons of Shimei were Jahat, Zina, and Juj, and Beriah. These four were the sons of Shimei, and Jahat was the chief, and Ziza the second. But Juj and Beriah had not many sons, therefore they were in one reckoning according to their father's house. The sons of Kohat, Amran, Ezer, Hebron, Uziel, four. The sons of Amran, Aaron, and Moses, and Aaron was separated that he should sanctify the most holy things, he and his sons forever, to burn incense before the Lord, to minister unto him, and to bless in his name forever. Now concerning Moses the man of God, his sons were named of the tribe of Levi. The sons of Moses were Geshom and Eliza. Of the sons of Geshom, Shebel was the chief, and the sons of Eliza were Rehabiah the chief. And Eliza had not other sons, but the sons of Rehabiah were very many. Of the sons of Ezer, Shalomit the chief. Of the sons of Hebron, Jeriah the first, Amariah the second, Jehaziel the third, Jechamim the fourth. Of the sons of Uzziel, Micah the first, and Josiah the second. The sons of Merari, Mali and Moshe. The sons of Mali, Eliza and Kish. And Eliza died and had no sons but daughters. And their brethren, the sons of Kish, took them, the sons of Moshe, Mali, and Eda, and Jeremoth, three. These were the sons of Levi, after the house of their fathers, even the chief of the fathers, as they were counted by a number of names by their posts, that did the work for the service of the house of the Lord, from the age of twenty years and upward. For David, the Lord God of Israel, had given rest unto his people, that they may dwell in Jerusalem forever. And also unto the Levites, they shall no more carry the tabernacle, nor any vessel of it for the service thereof. For by the last word of David, the Levites were numbered from twenty years old above, because their office was to wait on the sons of Aaron for the service of the house of the Lord in the courts, and in the chambers, and in the purifying of all things, and the work of the service of the house of God, both for the shewbread, and for the fine flour for meat offering, and for the unleavened cakes and for that which is baked in the pan, and for that which is fried, and for the manner of measure and size, and to stand every morning to thank and praise the Lord, and likewise at even, and to offer all burnt sacrifices unto the Lord in the Sabbath, in the new moons, and on the set feast, by number according to order commanded unto them continually before the Lord, and that they should keep the charge of the tabernacle of the congregation, and the charge of the holy place, and the charge of the sons of Aaron, their brethren, in the service of the house of the Lord. Now these are the divisions of the sons of Aaron. The sons of Aaron, Nadab and Abihu, Eliza and Ithamar. But Nadab and Abihu died before their father, and had no children. Therefore Eliza and Ithamar executed the priest's office. And David distributed them, both Zadok of the sons of Eliza, and Ahimelech of the sons of Ithamar, according to their offices in their service. And there were more chief men found of the sons of Eliza than of the sons of Edama. Thus were they divided. Among the sons of Eliza, there were sixteen chief men of the house of their fathers, and eight among the sons of Edama, according to the house of their fathers. Thus were they divided by lot, one sought with another, for the governors of the sanctuary and governors of the house of God were of the sons of Eliza and of the sons of Edama. And Shemaiah, the son of Nathaniel, the scribe, one of the Levites, wrote them before the king and the princes, and Zadok the priest, and Ahimelech the son of Abiathar, and before the chief of the fathers of the priests and Levites, one principal household being taken for Eliza, and one taken for Ithamar. Now the first lord came forth to Jehoiarib, the second to Jediah, the third to Harim, the fourth to Seorim, the fifth to Machijah, the sixth to Mijami, the seventh to Hakos, the eighth to Abijah, the ninth to Joshua, the tenth to Shekiniah, the eleventh to Eliashib, the twelfth to Jakim, the thirteenth to Hupa, the fourteenth to Jeshibib, the fifteenth to Biga, the sixteenth to Ima, the seventeenth to Heze, the eighteenth to Absis, the nineteenth to Petahiah, the twentieth to Jehizekiel, the one and twentieth to Jachin, the two and twentieth to Gamal, the three and twentieth to Deliah, the four and twenty to Maziah, 
These were the ordinance of them in their service to come into the house of the Lord, according to their number, under Aaron their father, as the Lord God of Israel had commanded him. And the rest of the sons of Levi were these, of the sons of Amra, Shubiah, of the sons of Shubiah, Jediah, concerning Rehabiah, of the sons of Rehabiah, the first was Ashiah, of the Israelite Shelomot, of the sons of Shelomot, Jahat, and the sons of Hebron, Jeriah the first, Amariah the second, Jahaziel the third, Jechamin the fourth, of the sons of Uziel, Micah, of the sons of Micah, Shameh. The brother of Micah was Ishiah, of the sons of Ishiah, Zechariah, the sons of Merari were Mali and Mushi, the sons of Jaziah, Beno, the sons of Merari by Jaziah, Beno, and Shoham, and Zarko, and Ibri. Of Mali came Eliza, who had no sons. Concerning Kish, the sons of Kish was Jaramiel, the sons of Mushi, Mali, and Eda, and Jeremoth. These were the sons of the Levites after the house of their fathers. These likewise cast lots over against their brethren, the sons of Aaron, in the presence of David the king, and Zadok, and Ahimelech, and the chief of the fathers of the priests and Levites, even the principal fathers over against their younger brethren. Moreover, David and the captains of the host separated to the service of the sons of Asaph, and of Haman, and of Jeduton, who should prophesy with harps, with sorceries, and with cymbals. And the number of the workmen according to their service was of the sons of Asaph, Zakor, and Joseph, and Ataniah, and Asarela, and sons of Asaph under the hands of Asaph, which prophesy according to the order of the king. Of Jeduton, the sons of Jeduton, Gedaliah, and Zeri, and Jeshiah, and Hashabiah, and Matitiah, six under the hands of their father Jeduton, who prophesied with a harp to give thanks and praise to the Lord. Of Heman, the sons of Heman, Bukiah, Mataniah, Uziel, Shebol, Jeremoth, Hananiah, Hanani, Eliata, Gidalti, and Romantiza, Joshbikasha, Malothi, Hothe, and Mahaziot. All these were the sons of Haman, the king's seer, in the words of God, to lift up the horn. And God gave to Haman fourteen sons and three daughters. All these were under the hands of their fathers for song in the house of the Lord, with cymbals, sorceries, and harps for the service of the house of God, according to the king's order to Asaph, Jeduton, and Haman. So the number of them with their brethren that were instructed in the sons of the Lord, even all that were cunning, was two hundred fourscore and eight. And the cast lord, word against word, as well as small as the great, the teacher as the scholar. Now the first lord came forth for Asaph to Joseph, the second to Gedaliah, who with his brethren and sons were twelve, the third to Zachor, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve, the fourth to Israel, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The fifth to Netaniah, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The sixth to Bukiah, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The seventh to Jesharela, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The eighth to Jeshiah, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The ninth to Mataniah, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The tenth to Shime, he, his sons, and his brethren were were twelve. The eleventh to Azariel, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The twelfth to Hashibiah, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The thirteenth to Shubiah, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The fourteenth to Matitiah, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The fifteenth to Jeremoth, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The sixteenth to Hananiah, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The seventeenth to Josh Bikasha, he, his son, and his brethren were twelve. The eighteenth to Hanani, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The nineteenth to Malothi, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The twentieth to Eliatha, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The one and twentieth to Hothe, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The two and twentieth to Gidati, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The three and twentieth to Mahoziot, he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. The four and twentieth to Ramotheza, 
he, his sons, and his brethren were twelve. Concerning the divisions of the porous, of the Korites was Meshelemiah, the son of Kore, of the sons of Asaph, and the sons of Meshelemiah were Zechariah the firstborn, Jediah the second, Zebadiah the third, Jadniel the fourth, Elam the fifth, Jehohanan the sixth, Elionai the seventh. Moreover, the sons of Obedidom were Shemaiah the firstborn, Jehozabad the second, Joah the third, Sakar the fourth, Nathaniel the fifth, Amiel the sixth, Issachar the seventh, Putai the eighth, for God blessed him. Also unto Shemaiah his son were sons born, that ruled throughout the house of their father, for they were mighty men of valor. The sons of Shemaiah, Odni, and Raphael, and Obed, and Elzabad, whose brethren were strong men, Elihu, and Semachiah. All these of the sons of Obedidom, they and their sons and their brethren, able men for strength for the service, were three score and two of Obedidom. And Meshelemiah had sons and brethren, strong men, eighteen. Also Hosa of the children of Mirari had sons, Simri the chief, for though he was not the firstborn, yet his father made him the chief. Hilkiah the second, Tebaliah the third, Zechariah the fourth, all the sons of the brethren of Hosa were thirteen. Among these were the divisions of the porters, even among the chief men, having wars one against another to minister in the house of the Lord. And they cast lots as well the small as the great, concerning the hearts of their fathers for every gate. And the lots eastward fell to Shemaliah. Then for Zechariah his son, a wise counselor, they cast lots, and the slots came out northward, to Obedidom southward, and to his sons the house of Asupim. To Shupim and Hosa, the lords came forth westward, with the gate Shalekate, by the causeway of the going up. Word against word, eastward were six Levites, northward four a day, southward four a day, and toward Asupim two and two, at Parba westward, four at the causeway, and two at Parba. These are the divisions of the porters among the sons of Kore and among the sons of Merari, and of the Levites, Ahijah was over the treasures of the house of God, and over the treasures of the dedicated things. As concerning the sons of Ladan, the sons of the Geshonite, Ladan, chief fathers, even of Ladan, the Geshonite, were Jehili, the sons of Jehili, Zetam, and Joah his brother, which were over the treasures of the house of the Lord, of the Amramites, and the Isarites, the Hebronites, and the Uzilites. And the Shubiel, the son of Geshom, the son of Moses, was ruler of the treasures, and his brethren by Eliza. Rehabiah his son, and Jeshiah his son, and Jorab his son, and Zikri his son, and Shelomit his son, with Shelomit and his brethren were over all the treasures of the dedicated things which David the king and the chief fathers, the captains over thousands and hundreds, and the captains of the host had dedicated. Out of the spoils won in battles did they dedicate to maintain the house of the Lord, and all that Samuel the seer and Saul the son of Kish, and Abner the son of Ner, and Joab the son of Zariah had dedicated, and whosoever had dedicated anything, it was under the hand of Shalomit and of his brethren. And of the Israelites, Chenaniah and his sons were for the outward business over Israel, for officers and judges. And of the Hebronite, Ashabiah and his brethren, men of valor, a thousand and seven hundred, were officers among them of Israel, on this side Jordan westward in all the business of the Lord and in the service of the king. Among the Hebronites was Jerijah the chief, even among the Hebronites according to the generations of his father. In the fortieth year of the reign of David, they were sought for, and they were found among them mighty men of valor at Jaze of Gilead. And his brethren, men of valor, were two thousand and seven hundred chief fathers, whom King David made rulers over the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh for every matter pertaining to God and affairs of the king. Now the children of Israel after their number to wit the chief fathers and captains of thousands and hundreds and the officers that served the king in any matter of their causes 
which came in and went out month by month throughout all the month of the year of every course were twenty and four thousand. Over the first course for the first month was Jashubi, the son of Zabdiel, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. Of the children of Perez was the chief of all the captains of the host for the first month, and over the course of the second month was Dudai and Ahuhide, and of his course was Miklop, also the ruler, and his course likewise were twenty and four thousand. The third captain of the host for the third month was Beniah, the son of Jehoiada, a chief priest, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. This is that Beniah who was mighty among the thirty and above the thirty, and in his course was Amizabad, his son. The fourth captain of the fourth month was Asahel, the brother of Joab, and Zebadiah, his son, after him, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The fifth captain for the fifth month was Shamut the Israelite, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The sixth captain of the sixth month was Ira, the son of Achish, the Tekoite, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The seventh captain for the seventh month was Helles, the Pelonite, of the children of Ephraim, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The eighth captain for the eighth month was Sibekiah, the Hushatite, of Zarite, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The ninth captain for the ninth month was Abiza, the Anetotite of the Benjamite, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The tenth captain for the tenth month was Maharai, the Netophatite of the Zarite, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The eleventh captain for the eleventh month was Beniah, the Piranotite of the children of Ephraim, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The twelfth captain of the twelfth month was Heldai, the Netophatite of Othniel, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. Furthermore, over the tribes of Israel, the ruler of the Reubenites was Aliza, the son of Zechri, of the Shimeonites, Shephatiah, the son of Maka. Of the Levites, Hashabiah, the son of Kimiel, of the Aaronites, Zadok, of Judah, Elihu, one of the brethren of David, of Issachar, Omri, the son of Michael, of Zebulon, Ishmael, the son of Obadiah, of Naphtali, Jeremoth, the son of Azrael, of the children of Ephraim, Hoshea, the son of Azariah, of the half tribe of Manasseh, Joel, the son of Pediah, of the half tribe of Manasseh in Gilead, Ido, the son of Zechariah, of Benjamin, Jasiel, the son of Abner, of Dan, Azariel, the son of Jeroham. These were the princes of the tribes of Israel. But David took not the number of them from twenty years old and under, because the Lord had said he would increase Israel like the stars of the heavens. Joab, the son of Zeruiah, began to number, but he finished not, because they fell wrath for it against Israel. Neither was the number put in the account of the chronicles of King David. And over the king's treasures was Asmavet, the son of Adiel, and over the storehouse in the fields, in the cities, and in the villages, and in the castles, was Jonathan, the son of Uzziah. And over them that did the work of the field for tillage of the ground was Ezra, the son of Chelub. And over the vineyards was Shimei, the Ramathite. Over the increase of the vineyards for the wine sellers was Zabdi, the shipmite. And over the olive trees and the sycamore trees that were in the low plains was Bahanan the Gederite. And over the cedars of Oye was Joash. And over the herds that fed in Sharon was Shitrai the Sharonite. And over the herds that were in the valleys was Shaphat the son of Adlai. Over the camels also was Obil the Ishmaelite. And over the asses was Jediah the Merunotite. And over the flocks was Jaziz the Hagarite. All these were the rulers of the substance, which was King David's. Also, Jonathan, David's uncle, was a counselor, a wise man, and a scribe. And Jehiel, the son of Hachmoni, was with the king's sons. And Ahithophel was the king's counselor. And Hushai, the Archite, was the king's companion. And after Ahithophel 
was Jehoiada, the son of Benaiah, and Abiathar. And the general of the king's army was Joab. And David assembled all the princes of Israel, the princes of the tribes, and the captains of the companies that ministered to the king by cause, and the captains over the thousands, and captains over the hundreds, and the steel was over all the substance and possession of the king, and of his sons, with the officers, and with the mighty men, and with all the valiant men, unto Jerusalem. Then David the king stood up upon his feet and said, Hear me, my brethren, and my people. As for me, I had in my heart to build a house of rest for the ark of the covenant of the Lord, and for the footstool of our God, I had made ready for the building. But God said unto me, Thou shalt not build a house for my name, because thou hast been a man of war and hast shed blood. Howbeit the Lord God of Israel chose me before all the house of my father to be king over Israel forever. For he had chosen Judah to be the ruler, and of the house of Judah, the house of my father, and among the sons of my father, he likes me to make me king over all Israel. And of all my sons, for the Lord had given me many sons, he had chosen Solomon my son to sit upon the throne of the kingdom of the Lord over Israel. And he said unto me, Solomon thy son, he shall build my house and my courts, for I have chosen him to be my son, and I will be his father. Moreover, I will establish his kingdom forever, if he be constant to do my commandment and my judgment as at this day. Now therefore, in the sight of all Israel, the congregation of the Lord, and in the audience of our God, keep and seek for all the commandments of the Lord your God, that ye may possess this good land, and leave it for an inheritance for your children after you forever. And thou, Solomon my son, know thou the God of thy father, and serve him with a perfect heart and with a willing mind. For the Lord searcheth all hearts and understandeth all the imaginations of the heart. If thou seek him, he will be found thee. But if thou forsake him, he will cast thee off forever. Take heed now, for the Lord hath chosen thee to build an house for the sanctuary. Be strong and do it. Then David gave to Solomon his son the pattern of the porch, and of the house thereof, and of the treasuries thereof, and of the upper chambers thereof, and of the inner palace thereof, and of the place of the mercy seat, and the pattern of all that he had by the Spirit, of the cult of the house of the Lord, and of all the chambers round about, of the treasuries of the house of God, and of the treasuries of the dedicated things. Also, for the cause of the priest and the Levites, and for all the work of the service of the house of the Lord, and for all the vessels of service in the house of the Lord. He gave of good by weight for things of good, for all instruments of all manner of service, silver also for all instruments of silver by weight, for all instruments of every kind of service, even the weight for the candlestick of gold, and for the lamps of gold, by weight for every candlestick, and for the lamps thereof, and for the candlestick of silver by weight, both for the candlestick and also for the lamps thereof, according to the use of every candlestick. And by the weight, he gave gold for the tables of shoe bread for every table, and likewise silver for the tables of silver, also pure gold for the flesh hook, and the bowls and the cups, and for the golden basins, he gave gold by weight for every basin, and likewise silver by weight for every basin of silver. And for the altar of incense, refined gold by weight, and gold for the pattern of the chariot of the cherubims that spread out their wings and covered the ark of the covenant of the Lord. All this said David, the Lord made me understand in writing by his hand upon me, even all the works of this pattern. And David said to Solomon his son, Be strong and of good courage, and do it. Fear not, nor be dismayed. For the Lord God, even my God, will be with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee, until thou hast finished all the work for the service of the house of the Lord. And behold, causes of the priests and the Levites, even they shall be with thee for all the service of the house of God. And they shall be with thee for all manner of workmanship, every willing skillful man for any manner of service. Also the princes and all the people will be holy at thy commandment. Furthermore, David the king said unto all the congregation, Solomon my son, whom alone God hath chosen, is yet young and tender, and the work is great. For the palace is not for man, but for the Lord God. 
Now I have prepared with all my might for the house of my God, the gold for the things to be made of gold, and the silver for the things of silver, and the brass for the things of brass, the iron for the things of iron, and wood for the things of wood, onyx stones and stones to be set, glistering stones and of diverse colors, and all manner of precious stones and marble stones in abundance. Moreover, because I have set my affection to the house of my God, I have of my own proper good, of gold and silver, which I have given to the house of my God, over and above all that I have prepared for the holy house. Even three thousand talents of gold, of the gold of fair, and seven thousand talents of refined silver, to overlay the walls of the house's widow, the gold for things of gold, and the silver for things of silver, and for all manner of work to be made by the hand of artificers. And who then is willing to consecrate his service this day unto the Lord? Then the chief of the fathers and princes of the tribes of Israel, and the captains of thousands and of hundreds, with the rulers of the king's work, offered willingly, and gave for the service of the house of God of gold five thousand talents, and ten thousand drums, and of silver ten thousand talents, and of brass eighteen thousand talents, and one hundred thousand talents of iron. And they with whom precious stones were found gave them to the treasure of the house of the Lord, by the hand of Jehiel the Gershonite. Then the people rejoiced, for that they offered willingly, because with perfect heart they offered willingly to the Lord. And David the king also rejoiced with great joy. Wherefore David blessed the Lord before all the congregation. And David said, Blessed be thou, Lord God of Israel our Father, for ever and ever. Thine, O Lord, is the greatness, and the power, and the glory, and the victory, and the majesty, for all that is in heaven and in the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord, and thou art exalted, head above all. Both riches and honor come of thee, and thou reignest over all, and in thy hand is power and might, and in thy hand it is to make great, and to give strength unto all. Now therefore our God, we thank thee and praise thy glorious name. But who am I, and what is my people, that we should be able to offer so willingly after this salt? For all things come of thee, and of thy own have we given thee. For we are strangers before thee, and sojourners, as for all our fathers. Our days on earth are as a shadow, as there is none abiding. O Lord our God, all this thought that we are prepared to view thee, and house for thy holy name, comment of thy hand, and is all thy own. I know also, my God, that thou triest the heart, and hast pleasure in uprightness. For me, in the uprightness of my heart, I have willingly offered all these things, and now have I seen with joy thy people, which are present here, to offer willingly unto thee. O Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel, our fathers, Keep this forever in the imagination of the thoughts of the heart of thy people, and prepare their heart unto thee. And give unto Solomon my son a perfect heart to keep thy commandment, thy testimonies, and thy statutes, and to do all these things, and to build the palace for the which I have made provision. And David said to all the congregation, Now bless the Lord your God, and all the congregation bless the Lord God of their fathers, and bow down their heads and worship the Lord and the King. And they sacrificed sacrifices unto the Lord, and offered burnt offerings unto the Lord. On the morrow after that day, even a thousand bullock, a thousand rams, and a thousand lambs, with their drink offerings and sacrifices in abundance for all Israel. And did eat and drink before the Lord on that day with great gladness. And they made Solomon, the son of David, king the second time and anointed him unto the Lord to be the chief governor, and Zadok to be the priest. Then Solomon sat on the throne of the Lord as king instead of David his father, and prospered. And all Israel obeyed him. And all the princes and the mighty men, and all the sons likewise of King David, submitted themselves unto Solomon the king. And the Lord magnified Solomon exceedingly in the sight of all Israel, and bestowed upon him such loyal majesty, as had not been on any kings before him in Israel. Thus David the son of Jesse reigned over all Israel, and the time that he reigned over Israel was forty years. Seven years reigned he in Hebron, 
and thirty and three years reigned he in Jerusalem. And he died in a good old age, full of days, riches, and honor. And Solomon his son reigned in his stead. Now the acts of David the king, first and last, behold, they are written in the book of Samuel the seer, and in the book of Nathan the prophet, and in the book of God the seer, with all his reign and all his might, and the times that went over him and over Israel, and over all the kingdoms of the countries.